Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. Hope you're doing well. My name is Todd. This is Heart of Dixie. Did you touch my butt? Humor. <laughs> this is requested by a Patreon subscriber. You two can join the Patreon link down below. The description will get you there. Throw a like on the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Hit that notification bell. That way you know when videos post immediately. You can come check it out. And let's go. I have no idea what the heck this show is, so I'm gonna read a little quick synopsis to figure out what the heck's going on. New York doctor Zoe Hart, oh, Rachel Bilson. She was um, summer in the OC. She'll always be summer to me. Has reached a crossroads in her life when she decides to accept an offer from a stranger to work with him at his practice in Alabama. When she arrives in town, she discovers that the man has died and left her his half of the practice in his will. Something that doesn't exactly make her new partner happy. Despite the shock of Southern life <laughs> and some less than hospitable town folk, Zoe decides to give her new life a chance and discover a new side of herself in the process. Interesting. All right. From New York to the South. Well, I kind of made a similar move. <laughs> I was in the upper Midwest to the South, so it's a little different, but... Uh, what you'll find usually is people are a little bit nicer and things move a little bit slower. Hello? Hey, Wade. <laughs> Why are we screaming? You can stop ignoring your mom. It's not. I just saw your phone. I said, Mom. You were reading it upside down. I was ignoring my Chinese friend. Wow. Let's get married. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's not me and you. Yeah. I even came up with a name for the weekend. It's called Locked and Loaded. <laughs> Shut up. Bluebell, it's yours for the picking. Why am I so stupid? Oh. <laughs> Did you just smack my butt? I can tap dance. Let's get married. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's not me and you. Yeah. I even came up with a name for the weekend. It's called Locked and Loaded. <laughs> Shut up. Bluebell, it's yours for the picking. Why am I so stupid? Oh. <laughs> Did you just smack my butt? I can tap dance. <laughs> I can see through your shirt when you do that. Shut up. Oh, does it help? No, thank you, sir. We do not need a major D to help us. We've been here many times. Bond! James Bond! Where? What do you need a pregnancy test? Oh, that, that's uh, Zachary Ty Bryan from Home Improvement. Boomer Gator. Burt Reynolds. I, I, I think she may be in heat. And a girl. Must have been a ghost. I slept over. In my van? The couch was itchy. Don't worry, we slept beat the head. You lost, you lost, your shopping mall is gone. You lost, you lost, <laughs> that also means we won. <laughs> Oops. Oh man, this is just like The Hangover, which is awesome because it's exactly like The Hangover 2. There might be a tiger in your closet. <laughs> I love those movies. There's ten talents. Each one worse than the one before. Honey. I'm a bell, a southern bell, a bama bell, a dixie bell. I got secrets I won't tell. Y'all don't like it? Go to hell, old soldier. What's your pleasure? Listen, cowboy. <laughs> cowboy. Tonight, let's be strangers who meet on a train. Train? Who travels by train anymore? Not like hobos? <laughs> yes, babe. We're hobos. Sexy hobos on a train. Sheesh. Sitting, <laughs> waiting, staring, and waiting. I'm staring and waiting. What? Right, fine. Oh, God. That would get anybody. Oh. Road trip! Woo! What the hell is wrong with you? Oh my God. I have never heard of that show or seen anything from that show. That is unbelievable. 
that there can be four seasons of something and you just have never heard of it. Link down below in the description for the original video. Go throw out some love. I gotta be honest, a lot of these shows that I've reacted to have come out on CW. I've never actually watched anything on CW. And by the way, when he said nobody travels by train anymore, I would actually enjoy, I think, going on like a massive train trip like across the US or something like that with like the sleeper car, the drink car, the food car. I looked up certain train rides through like Banff, Canada and stuff. And boy, does that stuff get really expensive, like more expensive than airline tickets, like unbelievably expensive. But it's not just a trip. It's also the trip built into the ride. So kind of makes sense. It's one of those things I'll eventually do by the time I die. And it's not one of those empty, you know, oh, I'll do it sometime. It's one of those like, I will do it, but I just don't know when. It's been kind of an interesting transition going from the north to the south in the US. People are generally nicer. I have noticed that. Um, things are generally slower, depending on the city you're traveling through. Some cities are pretty aggressive, but I would say average people are just generally nicer down here. I don't know exactly why that is. I guess the weather's a little better throughout the year. I mean, it is pretty hot in the summer, but the winter is much better down here. <laughs> now, unfortunately, I have to fly up there every year for the holidays, so I get the best of both worlds. I get to, you know, melt in the summer and then freeze to death in the winter. It's fantastic. I couldn't recommend it enough. Just when you get used to hot temperatures, you could dive right knee deep into the snow. It is not pleasant, not pleasant pleasant. I would not recommend it. <laughs> it is the exact opposite of what people should be doing. You should be in the north during the summer. You should be in the south during the winter. They call them snowbirds or whatever when they fly from the north to the south for the winter, just like the actual birds. But uh, yeah, I, I do the opposite way and uh, it's not great. But family is important and you have to go see family. So I deal with it. It's not uh, ideal, but uh, you know, I joke every year, you know, we should meet in Las Vegas or something, or, you know, we should meet in Orlando or something just to mix it up and, you know, not suffer through the cold. I mean, the first snow fall that you see at night when it's a clear night and you get that kind of like smell of snow, it is, like a fresh snow, it is breathtaking. You know, you get a little light covering of the ground you see the big old flakes fall from the sky. You can see the stars. There's like this, I don't know. If you have never seen snow, you don't know the smell. It is just a weird, I don't know. There's something about it that's just really unbelievable, like magical. Part of Dixie looks interesting. Obviously this is a very small taste of the show. Um, just a lot of out of context humor, but I can tell it's fairly lighthearted. I can tell that it's gonna be interesting. She's gonna find herself in some very interesting spots. I mean, there's plenty to play on there when you bring a New Yorker to the South. I mean, delicatessens are nowhere to be found. <laughs> Bodegas are not a thing. Um, people are generally nicer. You're not getting a, hey, up yours, you know, crossing the street, you actually drive through town and not like be in gridlock traffic, um, staring at naked cowboys. Now cities are still a city, so it's not like, depart. it's not that big of a departure, but uh, you just don't have, probably the amount of wealth condensed in one area. I mean, Manhattan's just tons of money in that one area, that one island. But, uh, you know, large cities down here have some money. It's maybe not as much as Manhattan, but let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching the video. I appreciate it. Link down below in the description for the Patreon. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye, y'all.